The rules demand that each driver must only use a limited number of engines per season or face penalties. And that means a greater emphasis has been placed on both performance and reliability. ExxonMobil works tirelessly to deliver high performance lubricants and fuels that give the car both the power and efficiency needed to succeed at every race. Of course, Formula One racing engines are among the most sophisticated in the world. They combine three power sources, a petrol-powered 1.6-litre turbocharged V6 internal combustion unit, an MG UK energy recovery system that draws energy from the car's braking, and finally, an MG UH that converts heat energy from the exhaust gases. All of these combine to generate in excess of 900 brake horsepower for the driver to access during a lap, operating at 15,000 RPM. Or put another way, 1,500 times more RPM than an elite level cyclist who pedals at 100 RPM. These engines are 40% more fuel efficient compared to that of the pre-2014 normally aspirated 2.4 litre V8 engines. A responsible evolution to reflect the global demand to develop more fuel-efficient cars for the road. The race fuel has been expertly formulated to enhance engine power from each drop and reduce power degradation and debris buildup to help lengthen the life of the engine by cleaning and protecting it. This will increase its efficiency and allow it to exceed the extreme demands of the track. Mobile One motor oil, the lifeblood of the engine, reduces friction, essential for maximising power and performance. A special oil has even been developed to provide increased capability, upgrade efficiency and improve cooling, whilst helping to keep the engine running as if it was new. With oil circulating around the engine up to nine times per minute, peak temperatures in the engine turbine can reach 950 Celsius. That's hotter than volcanic lava. The excellent thermal performance of Mobile One technology is one feature that allows higher operating temperatures while still protecting the engine. Why run an engine hot in the first place? Well, firstly, it can reduce drag by re-optimising the radiator and aero packaging. And secondly, it can increase rear downforce, achieved through aerodynamic improvements to the exit ducts. Overall, these modifications come together to create a car that generates a huge amount of electrical energy. The MG UK alone receives 312 megajoules. That's enough energy to power eight average households for a whole day.